Okay guys, it's Kayla with Glitter Chimp back again to give you guys another video today on how to do the cowhide ink tumblers on glitter. So we're going to do a full from start to finish how these cups are done and we're going to put a little bit of a twist on it at the end, which I'll show you guys later. Um, but we're going to get jumping right into this video. Um, it's going to be a very simple, quick and easy design and it's going to be, I mean, just an awesome showstopper for any of you who do shows. Also, any of you guys that do ready to ship cups, these are great for that because they're very quick and easy to do. So let's go ahead and get the camera set up so you guys can watch the whole thing. All right, so I've got my cup here. It's prepped, ready to go. We're gonna be using the Glitter Chimp Pro Plus Epoxy for the base coat of epoxy. And then we're gonna to top it with fresh water pearl in a, a fine cut of glitter. I've already got my epoxy mix. So I'm gonna get my cup turner turned on and we're gonna get started. So I just have my cup prepped here with just white flat spray paint. And we're using the epoxy method for this. So we're gonna be putting epoxy first. And when you're using the epoxy method, your first layer of epoxy, you don't have to worry about the air bubbles that are in the epoxy because it's all gonna get covered with glitter. Unless of course you're not going to be putting anything on it, then yeah, you want to make sure you get those bubbles popped. But luckily our fast, our, um, our fast epoxy, the pro plus, as well as our pro are phenomenal when it comes to being able to pop any of the micro bubbles that may appear in the epoxy after you've, after you've applied it. Um, you can either use a heat gun, a torch, or even spray it with rubbing alcohol. Um, and it'll pop the bubbles. Perfect, okay. Take off my glove, throw that in the trash can. Now I've got my paper here. Because it's spinning that way. All right, so I'm using, again, this is Freshwater Pearl Fine Cut and we're going to cover the entire tumbler with this glitter. So just gonna start sprinkling it on there. And with doing the ink cowhide, you want to start with a white glitter base. And then what we'll do is go back in after this is of course cured and then put on the, um, the alcohol ink to create the cow spots. And I have always wanted to do one of these cups. I actually have never done one before. So this is the first time I've made one. Um, but I've always wanted to because they're just cute. And I like how you get more of a, not a natural look because it is glitter and ink. But I think it's a pretty realistic look compared to like actually doing like a, how you would do a leopard print tumbler where you, you know, use Mod Podge on the top and sprinkle the glitter on there. I think this will be a lot more fun. All right, so that, that nice and coated with glitter. Gotta do the bottom now. So I just toss it out of the glitter jar and make sure my bottom is nice and covered. All right, now that that's done, put my excess glitter back in the jar and now we are actually just going to let this spin for the next, well, I guess it's the Pro Plus, so three to four hours, come back and we can put the spots on and get to the next step. So we will be back again very soon to do the next step. Okay, so this cup is nice and cured all the way around. And we're just gonna jump on in this next part. So with this, I have two brown inks I think I'm going to go with the darker one, which is just brown. And I also have black to kind of add a little kind of different color to it. Um, so how I how this is done is you literally put drops of ink on top of the glitter and the ink will spread out and make kind of a spot, a splattery spot. So you just kind of, you don't have to keep it on the cup turner for this. I'm just going to because it's what I 
have it set on. So I did a first drop and you see how it just splatters out. So I'm just gonna kinda make my own little cow spots here. And try not to make them all look the same. Right, Libby? Mm -hmm. I have an audience today. No. The spot right here where my my glitter did not stay standing up. I did go back over and do a second coat to make the glitter really stand, um, but it didn't want to for some reason right there. I didn't put enough on. So no worries, I'll just skip over that part and that can be where my decal goes. So do, do, do. And then, so now I'm gonna go over this. I told you guys I got black here. And this is just to kind of give it a little extra pattern to it. I guess that's the right word, pattern, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, so we're just gonna keep going around, adding black kind of in places. I think I did the black too bitch there, so I'm gonna do a little brown. Thank you, Olivia. Olivia's playing with slime that she just made. And you can do different colors. I'm actually gonna add, I just wanna see, cause now I'm just kind of playing around. I'm gonna add this caramel color to this to get just to kind of add, I guess, a little bit of a lighter brown spot on there. I don't know, I'm just playing around. I told you guys I've never done this before, so. I've done dots, just not doing the cowhide, and I don't like the caramel. It's not a pretty color for what I'm doing, so I'm gonna just cover it up with brown. All right, I'm gonna move around now. And you can make your spots, of course, as big and as small as you want, just by controlling how much of the ink you pour out. Cow spots are not necessarily all the same size, so you just kinda, depends on how brindled they are. Um, so you kinda just make the spots how you feel and what looks best in your opinion. Oops, oh well, that doesn't matter. It's a cow, it's a cow. Moo, Moo that's right, Moo. All right, so we're gonna keep going. This would be really cute if someone was like, wanted a Dalmatian cup as well. This one right here looks like a foot. There's one that looks like a what? Foot. Like a foot? Hey, you know, sometimes that's how things are. For some reason, this one looks like like a Jack Skeleton from, uh, what's that movie? Nightmare Before Christmas. Just blanked on the movie. Oh my gosh. So, that one looks kind of like a weird duck head. Quack, quack. All right, keep going. These are fun. Okay, this is too fun. That looks weird. No, it doesn't. It's a cow spot. This one that kind of looks like a weird poodle. Yeah, a weird poodle? We're going to play that game, huh? <laughs> I love imagination. But I don't see a poodle. Add a 
brittle. Oh. My other dark brown. Hmm. Nope. Nope. What? Oh my gosh, don't get that in your hair. Please don't get that in your hair. Cinnamon. I forgot what cinnamon looks like. Ooh, that's a darker but lighter brown. Let's just put some. Ooh, that's cute. Okay. I just kind of have all sorts of color spots in here. What if you put a purple spot? I could do a rainbow cat one day. Just for you. Try to break up this black spot I here. I a purple cow. I know you would. Brown cows make chocolate milk. I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you for saying you're kidding. Because they don't. <laughs> All right, see, this is fun, y'all. Why are you talking about brown cows and milk? You brought it up. It's so cool to watch it spread. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot of fun. I haven't done these, and now I'm kind of like, man, I should have been doing these the whole time. keep pushing my cup all the way up and I don't mean to. All right, let's see if we can hide this way. Do, do, do. And the only reason I've decided to do the cow cup right now is because it's rodeo season. I said that the other day during a video. But it's rodeo season here in Texas, so I kind of like feel like I have to do something sort of rodeo, rodeo cow related. It was just go Texan or day. Cow. Or a cow. Yeah, or a cow. This is fun. I like this. I really do like this. This is kind of a fun little, fun little thing. I'm gonna put in a little bit more black, woo. Can you give me a paper towel? Some advantages to having her in here. I can give her the hand and stuff. Perfect. That was better. Thank you. even know how to go about that, Liv. You can put some eyes. Well, yeah, I know I could do that, but.
that. That's cute and adorable and fun. Okay, so now the next step obviously will be to put epoxy on the top of this. So let me put my lids back on what they belong on. Making sure everything's dry. Some of these spots, the ink like doesn't want to dry. That's okay. We got it now. All right, so now we have our cowhide. Again, you don't have to add the black. I just wanted to see what happened if I added black. I like it in some spots, other spots I'm like, it's a little too dark, but I really like the brown. All right, so we're just gonna roll with it. So I have my cowhide done. Now I'm going to turn on my cut turner. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm gonna turn my cup turn it out and do the next coat of epoxy. So I'm gonna get some epoxy mixed up and we'll apply it. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I wanna add to it to make it a little extra something. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my epoxy all prepped. I'm using the Pro Plus again on this. So let's get started. I guess I should turn on my cup turner. So here's what I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna be putting epoxy on this and then I'm actually just gonna very lightly sprinkle it with Boots and Bling, again, to give it that nice, full-blown rodeo look to it, I guess. <laughs> Although I might not. We'll see what this looks like after I get the epoxy on here. Oh, it's so cute. And I actually like that there's like different colored spots and yeah, this is fun. I want to do one of these now, but with giraffe print. It'd be kind of fun doing orange and brown. See what other animals you can do this way. Cause I know you could do a Dalmatian. Or for any of my friends out there that are have GSPs, German short hair pointers, anything that has that, you know, spottled, spottled, <laughs> speckled look. <laughs> Try to say spot and speckle at the same time. Doesn't work. Get the epoxy nice and smooth on this. So with the Pro Plus, I only have about 15 minutes of work time on this, so I have to move quickly. All right, so now I gotta get the bottom. And because this is a, I'm using, um, this is the glitter is um, Freshwater Pearl Fine Cut. If I really wanted to, and just for, you know, just to kind of explain this to you guys, because it's a fine cut glitter underneath, this coat of epoxy should be perfectly, will end up being perfectly smooth. And I mean, realistically, you could call it done once it was done, like geared. But because I'm gonna add some glitter on the top of it, it's gonna, um, need still one more coat. So one more coat. And then of course, if I were to put a decal on it, then I would put the decal on after another layer of epoxy seals it. So this cup would probably end up with four coats of epoxy if I were to add a decal, but I don't, I don't typically decal my tumblers. So we're just gonna go with what's, what we got going here making sure I've got a nice even coat of epoxy on the entire cup, which I mean, it feels pretty good. All right, and set that there, take off my glove. 
I'm going to hit this with my torch real quick. Once I figure out where my lighter went. Hmm. Oh, there it is. So that's gonna get all those little micro bubbles out of the epoxy. And now, sorry, gotta get in my special drawer for paper. All right, so I told you guys I'm using Boots and Bling. This is a glitter that was used in the um, January sub box. So I'm literally just gonna put this in my hand and just kinda sprinkle it all over the entire cup. So it's just a turquoise color and a gold in dot and hexagon form. And I'm not, I really don't wanna to put too, too much on this, just enough to where it's got a little color, a little extra color. A little bit on the bottom. Oh, see now, yeah, this is beautiful. I like this. It's got a little pop of color and it's still got that cowhide showing through. This is what you call a very happy cup. And I know somebody at the warehouse that is going to love this. Yep, I'm in love, okay. So now you see it's got just a little touch of color to it and then it's got the little spots and that is done. So what we're gonna do, let this sit and cure about three to four hours, come back and put one last final coat of epoxy on this and it will be all done and ready to be, to go. So there you guys go. We'll be back soon to do the next and last layer of epoxy and be finished. So we will see you guys again in just a minute. Okay, you guys, here it is. This is our ink cowhide tumbler and it turned out so stinking cute. I, I really like this and I'm really glad that I added boots and bling to the top of it. Uh, just kind of like a little extra something to it because to me it just, for some reason, cows and turquoise just goes together. But again, I'm from Texas, so it's rodeo season. I can't help myself during this time of year for wanting to have a little bit of extra country flair. I guess is what I'm gonna call it. Um, but anyways, I have a person that I think will absolutely adore this cup and she works for us and her kids raise cows for 4-H. So this is something I think she will really enjoy. Um, but it turned out great. So for those of you who are beginners, this is a great cup design to do for ready to ship cups, to take to shit like craft fair, stuff like that. Um, Cause it was so quick and easy to do. This is just, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four layers of epoxy on this cup, real thin layers, turned out great. Oh, I'm in love with this, this is adorable. Um, anyways, turned out great. I think everyone should try one of these. This is really cool. I'm actually gonna try to do a giraffe one um, next using a different color glitter. Um, but anyway, we'll try. I'm all, I'm all about trying at least once. So um, we'll do that next. But this turned out great. So um, if you have any questions or co anything, comment below. I'll make sure to answer it as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you can always email us at info at glitterchimp.com and we will respond as quickly as we can. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for a like and subscribe to our channel, Tumblr TV. And also hit that notification bell so you never miss any videos that we have coming out because it'll just notify you and say, hey, Tumblr TV put on a new video. And they'll, so you'll know to come and watch it. Um, otherwise, you can join our Facebook group, Glitter Chimp 
um, on Facebook, or we actually have a business page, which is Glitter Chimp, also on Facebook that you can join. And again, there's just so much information on both of those pages and in groups. Um, otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will have another video up for you guys tomorrow to continue our March Crafters Month series. So you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.